Alright everyone, so this is going to be a little short review because it is late and I have a wedding to film tomorrow and I know that if I don't do this now, I will never do it. So I'm just going to go in, it's probably going to be pretty short, sweet, you know what I'm saying? Alright, so me and Ryan was go watch Charlie's Angels tonight, the 2019 reboot, and I just recently watched uh, the other two movies on Netflix because I knew this was coming out and I knew that I was going to probably go watch it. And the old movies, they're, um, they're special. They're like, I like them, and they're like, it's kind of because they're cheesy. They're super cheesy, and like, that's kind of why they're fun to watch, to me. Like, I was on the of going, oh my gosh, and like, stuff like that. And, um, but there was some pretty cool stuff in it. I mean, I honestly can't remember it right now. I remember enjoying them, and I was like, yeah, I'm kind of excited for this, because the new one has a good cast, and I was like, so, I mean, I kind of wanted to watch it. So, me and Ryan went and watched it tonight. And I don't know, <laughs> that being said, I don't know if it was as good. I feel like I enjoyed the other ones. But maybe I just enjoyed, like, laughing and just, like, oh, man, that's so cheesy. Maybe I enjoyed that part of it more. It's because this one was actually, like, this one was actually, like, a good movie. Like, it was, it was good. But, uh, it was just... Overall, it was just kind of eh to me. Like, there was nothing, like, super, super special in it. Like, even, like, the fight scene and everything. Like, there's just not really a whole lot to just, like, wow you, really. Except for... Except for Naomi Scott, you know what I'm saying? Like, hashtag crush, for sure. Uh, she's amazing. And she was amazing in this movie. And then, um, Kristen Stewart did fine. Uh, I don't know if I've personally ever seen her in anything, because I've never seen Twilight. Um, so this might be the first thing I've seen her in, and she was, she was kind of funny, but her character kind of comes off as kind of annoying, but she even, like, addresses that in the movie, like, Ella Balanska, I guess is how you say her name. I've never seen her in anything before, I don't really know if she has been in a lot, but she was pretty cool. And then, um, Patrick Stewart was in it, he's good, and then the guy from all the Netflix things, Noah something he's in it um so i think the cast is good the plot is uh so they're just kind of like there's already like a whole lot of like stuff going on basically with like the angels and they kind of like they meet up with Naomi scott's character to warn her about something and something goes wrong so she gets mixed in with the angels basically it's like the plot of this movie um I feel like I should give an overall rating before I hit them spoilers. Um, overall, I'd say it's a good movie. Uh, out of five stars, I'd probably give it like... I'll give it a three. I'll give it a three. Because two and a half just seems low to me. And do I recommend it? I would tell someone if, if, you, uh, if you want something to watch, go watch Charlie's Angels. But with the other things that are in theaters right now, I don't know if I would recommend Charlie's Angels, you know? I forgot to say her name earlier, but Elizabeth Banks was in it, and she directed it. And I feel like it kind of shows that she was the director through the movie. It just kind of seems like her character was kind of like, okay, yeah, we get it. Yeah, okay, so spoilers. This is a spoiler warning. Um, I, I had kind of fell for her being the bad guy, kind of. But at the very, very beginning, as... As Charles Xavier, um, Patrick Stewart, was walking into the big thing with all the Bosleys, uh, I already suspected him being the villain. And that's because in movies like this, you have to, at the beginning of the movie, the villain is always there. So you have to, it's not someone they're gonna like, ah, oh, this is the villain in a movie like this. You have to think. And he's just kind of the first suspect to me, I guess. But I kind of forgot about him. So, like, him turning out to be the bad guy, that was neat, I guess. I liked him and his role. I thought it was really funny when the guy fell out of the, the whatever it was. And he's like, you have no sense of humor. I thought that was really funny. But, yeah, but other than that, like, the final battle was kind of weak, man. Like, I just don't get it. I also don't like how all the angels have their own, like, special part. Like, how, like, like, Kristen Stewart's one is, like, the one to, like, trick them or, like, seduce them or whatever. And then, uh, Naomi Scott does the, 
not all the, like the technical stuff and the other girl is more of like uh, combat and like weapons and stuff like I feel like in the other movies they're all like pretty universal and they can all do a little bit of everything and I kind of like kind of wish it was more like that but through the F credits there are credit scenes and if you stay through the credits it shows the name of Scott's character training to officially become like an angel and there's like a lot of cameos and all that and then they also reveal that Charlie's a woman in this version of it through the through a, a voice app um which is which is like it just gives the whole reboot like this is like obviously like a like a uh, like a female led reboot oh can we talk about uh what's his name was it Roy or like Robert or something they killed him they killed my man he's out there like just doing his security job and she's like get over here get over here and he thinks you're suspect the thing goes off seizure kills him we're we just gonna pretend like it ain't happened will i see it again in theaters probably not will i buy it when it comes out yes i will probably buy it when it comes out if if you were to come up to me and say hey should i watch charlie's angels i would have to sit and talk to you about your uh your opinions on movies and try and figure out if, if i think you'd like it that's what i'm gonna say it's not one i'm just gonna like automatically say yes go watch it it's like i gotta figure out what your taste is and stuff and then like yeah maybe so or maybe just like no yeah so that's that uh, more movie reviews over here subscribe button over here thank you for watching uh i'm gonna, be I'm gonna go to bed now y'all uh, y'all have a good one and i'll see y'all next time